Hello my dear kids welcome back to the e learning class of english i hope you all are fine and taking good care of yourself so kids today we are going to cover two topics from your cornerstone grammar and composition skills book so let's move to our first topic that is chapter 14 articles so what are articles the words a an and the are known as articles okay now a and an are indefinite articles because they point to a general person or thing okay it can be anyone when we are not definite okay when we are talking about any person or thing or any noun which is not specific then we use the words our articles a or an whereas indefinite articles the is an indefinite article where we speak of something that is definite it means when we are talking about a particular or specific person or thing it is said to be definite article and the is an definite article in this chapter we will see the use of a an and the so let's start kids when do we use a we use a when we talk about singular noun that begins with a consonant sound you all know vowels and consonant vowels means a e i o u whereas consonant apart from these five letters of the alphabets rest other 21 letters are known as consonant so if a singular noun ha begins with a consonant sound then we are using the word a before them like a pen here pen p is a consonant so what we have used we have used a a girl g here is a consonant a zoo a uniform here kids you need to remember that i said that it should have a consonant sound if i say uniform that means it is the sound it takes uh, rather than using the we are pronouncing the letter u we say y o u u so we are writing a uniform in the same way a european that means what we take out the sound of what u y o u that's why we are saying a european a 1 rupee coin here we use what with sound we use the sound of w so whenever we are taking out a consonant whenever we are pronouncing a word and we are saying what we are using a consonant sound that time we put we use a now let's see the use of an when we use an we use an when we talk about singular noun that begins with a vowel sound for example an umbrella here you here you we are pronouncing you is a vowel an important person an apple an r here r h is silent and we are saying a ah. okay it is o we are pronouncing the word the letter o o u r r here h is silent that's why we are saying an r an american it is starting with the vowel a an honest man here again h is silent and it sounds like honest so as it is having the vowel sound that's why we will use an now let's see the use of the to refer a noun that has already been mentioned 
like when we are talking about something for the first time when we are talking about some singular noun for the first time we use a or an but when we are talking about the same thing for the second time then we use the for example i have a bottle here bottle is indefinite we are talking for the first time whereas the bottle is black in color here we will use the because already we have talked about the bottle and now it has become definite or we are talking about that particular bottle so what we will use we will use the we use the with adjectives in the superlative degree i have already explained you in the previous video that whenever we use any adjectives in the superlative degree form that time what we use before that we use the like today is the hottest day of the year now we use the with those nouns that are only one of their kind like the sun the moon the taj mahal the qutub minar the red fort the great wall of china etc here they are only one of their kind that's why what we use we use the like the earth revolves around the sun we use the with singular nouns that represent the whole class or community like the dog is a faithful animal here we are talking about dog but it refers to all the group or or whole class of dog that's why we have used the in front of the word dog now we use the before names of group of islands like the andamans the nicobars etc whenever we are talking about the group of islands we use the after that we use the before the name of the countries whose name includes words like kingdom states or republic for example the united states the united kingdom the people's republic of china here we have used in these words we have used what kingdom states or republic whenever we use this we include this in the name of the countries that time we use the in front of them now kids remember that we do not use the with proper nouns like we don't say the rita the raipur the sunday the february the january etc with proper nouns we never use what with proper nouns like name of a place name of a person etc we don't use the we don't use the with the countable nouns unless they are made particular like if i say the water is the source of all life it is incorrect because here water refers to all the water present in the earth so the correct sentence will be water is the source of all life here if i say the water we use for drinking must be pure here we are talking about a particular water which kind of water the water which we use for drinking so here before water we will use the word or the article the now we do not use the with abstract nouns such as we do not say the honesty is the best policy or the health so remember we do not use proper nouns with uh, we do not use articles with proper nouns uncountable nouns unless they are made particular and abstract nouns i hope that articles are clear to everyone now moving on to our next topic that is homophones homophones means what homo it means similar and phone means sound so the words that sound the same although their spellings and meanings are different are known as homophones for example right right 
R I G H T right means something which is towards your right side. Okay, and right W R I T E right right means to note. Here you will find that the pronunciation of the words are similar, but they have the different meaning and spelling. In the same manner, break 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 B R E A K break means to take a pause. or to take a rest for some time whereas b r a k e break means it is a device in a vehicle you will find the uh, uh, you will find this kind of device to for slowing or stopping a moving vehicle okay it is like it is a device you might have seen in your cycle as well as car scooter whatever you use in all the vehicles you will find a break so that what you can do you can slow down your vehicle or you can stop the vehicle so homophones it is clear to everyone homophones means the words which sound similar or which have the same pronunciation but their meaning and spellings are different i hope this topics are clear to everyone if you have any doubt then on monday during the uh, on tuesday during the live session you can ask your queries and kids start learning the chapters as your midterm exam will commence very soon thank you